Good morning or afternoon, Diva Nation and WRJRians. It's your girl, Ms. Diva, the Queen of Hearts. And I've got one for you guys today. Um, yeah. I got an email from a young lady out in California. She is a white woman that has been in a relationship with a black man for a while. However, she says about a month ago, they got into an argument. During that argument, she called him the, the N-word. Um, she said he looked hurt. Um, he was angry. He stormed out. She says they've had arguments before and she's called him names and he's always come back. This time he didn't. So I asked her, so in previous arguments, did you call him out of his name like that? She said she would called him other names, but had never used this particular word before toward him. She says she's calling and calling and calling. She's emailing, she's texting. He won't respond. He wants nothing to do with her. While she was at work, he came and got all of his belongings out of her house and left her key. Didn't leave her a note, just left her her keys. And she wants to know what she needs to do to get him back. Um, my personal opinion on this is you need to just leave, leave, leave him alone. Because if he were going to come back, he would do it on his own. He doesn't need you chasing him or anything else. You need to let this man be a man and make his own decision. Just like you took it upon yourself to call him that derogatory name, you're going to have to let him get past it if that's going to happen. Um, that's one of the things that I had talked about in an earlier video as far as um, fighting fair. Um, an argument should never escalate to name calling. When things start to get a little... Hey, Nikki! If things start to get heated, then uh, one or the other needs to walk away until cooler heads can prevail so you guys could talk through this like rational human being, rational human beings. When you resort to name calling, that's that's like being punched. You can't unpunch somebody just like you can't unring a bell. You can't uncall him the N word. So you're going to have to let him figure out what he wants now seeing that he has moved out of the home giving you back all your keys and will not respond to you that's a pretty big indicator that he's probably done and so now you chasing him like i don't know some rabbit deer um you're probably pushing him further away because i know a lot of guys if they're mad if you keep you all you're doing is pissing them off more and the lo the more you do that the longer it's going to take for them to talk to you now she said there's no kids involved um they've been together for a few years and my co and i asked her well what made you think that it was okay to call him that her response was well i hear the word all the time by admission i've never heard him say it but I hear people saying it all the time. Hey, Fred. So I didn't see the harm in it. Okay, so unless you've been living under a rock all of your 27 years. Yeah, she says she's 27. I don't know how you could hear the word, the, hear the N word and not know that it was derogatory. It is not a term of endearment. I don't care who's using it or how they're using it. It's not a term of endearment, especially... You know, for me, it's not in term, a term of endearment, no matter who's saying it. But it stings a little harder when somebody of another race calls us that. Oh, I love you. You want to love. That's true. Uh, yeah, if you're just tuning in. Hi, Eric. Um, it's not even about the love aspect. They got into an argument about a little over a month ago. During the argument, she called him the N-word. He got upset, moved out, took all of his stuff, gave her back her key. She's been hounding him ever since, but he's not responding because, you know, I, he, I guess in his mind he's done. 
And then Fred is saying, oh, wow, the N word isn't cool at all, no matter when it's used. I agree with that. You call me that. That's akin to you calling me the B word. You call me that. I think you're ready to knuckle up. That's not a term of endearment to me. And to most people, it's not. Clearly, it wasn't for him either. <laughs> yeah, because... um she said that she had never said it before that she's called him names during fights before he doesn't call names back but when he called when she called him that he just he walked out and has not come back while she was at work he um removed all of his items from her home left her the the key to the home and hasn't communicated with her since so my my, my what i'm saying now um Miss 27 in California, you, you hit below the belt and not everyone that's hit below the belt is going to bounce back and be okay with that. And clearly he's not that guy. Now, um, if he were going to come back to you, it's going to be on his terms and in his time and you continuing to hound him, that's harassment. So unless you're willing to deal with possible him, possibly getting a restraining order or something like that, you might want to back off. If he's going to come back, he's going to come back. Hi, Quayla. Doesn't matter what you say or what you do. But for future reference, if you do decide to be in a relationship with a black man, uh, you might want to delete that word from your vocabulary. Because nobody should be calling anybody that word. Especially in a fight. Like I said, you can't unring a bell. You can't unpunch somebody. You can't take that back. You can apologize for it, but it's still there. You know, they still remember that. And Fred's saying she's a name caller. She needs help with that. 27 female, not winning at all. Exactly. If you can't have a discussion with your other, with your significant other without resor resorting to name calling. Yeah, you do need to reevaluate some stuff. That's what children do. Grown men and women can talk things out. I'm not going to call you names because if I'm going to, if I'm that mad, I'm walking away. Because for me, it takes me, you know, I'll, I can be mad as I'll get out. It's going to take me a moment to calm down and then I can revisit it. But you call me out of my name. Uh -uh, I'm sorry. Hi, honey. Good morning, Doug. But yeah, you never call the other person a derogatory name for their race. That's just ignorant. So, I'm sorry. Like I said, if he's going to come back, it's going to be on his own terms and in his time. So, you need to stop harassing him. Let him get through it. Because the more you continue to harass him, he's reliving this. So, let it go. You may have to just move on and find you somebody else. And like I said, delete that word from your vocabulary if you're smart. So, anyway... Yeah, my head hurts All right, <laughs> I'm going to go. Um, I'll see you guys back here again tomorrow morning with some more questions. Um, and also, you know, in light of the way things are going right now, you know, racial tensions are at an all-time high. Y you might not want to incite certain things because I'm telling you, um, a lot of these black men have sisters. Yeah. That may not be a fight you want to start. So anyway, I'm going to go. I will see you guys Friday and Saturday night for Love Unlimited Live, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. out east, 8 to 11 out west, and then back again on Sunday for the old school cool down from 5 to 8 p.m. out east, 2 to 5 out west. And also, if you've missed any of these or you want to go back and look at some and you don't want to have to scroll back through my page or the WR Dars Miss Diva Phoenix page, they're on our YouTube channel, and that's WRJR Space Real Jams. So I will holler at you guys again tomorrow. Be blessed. Have a wonderful day. And uh, no more name calling. That's juvenile. Bye-bye. Be blessed. <laughs>